the end. They're like, yeah, but who's hugging me? I'm like, oh, I don't know who's hugging me. And Dick's like, you are. So, <laughs> and you think that it's all done. I'm like, okay, here's the host club. From the back, you hear, hi. <laughs> and then out comes Mike McFarland in a dress oh, and oh, heels, just like running across the stage. <laughs> So it was Mike's idea, I guess because he was either already coming to LA for Expo or just wanted an excuse to go to Anime <laughs> Expo. And he was the producer of the show, so it's not like he had no business being there. And he's like, well, if you guys are all wearing the coats, because I consider him to be a really important part of what made the show great. Like, he was kind of my mentor through the whole situation and, and, and all of that. Uh, so he's, uh, <laughs> we went like the day before to Ross, me and Talison Jaffe and Mike McFarlane went to uh, Ross in LA somewhere looking for a dress that Mike could wear. And I think that we left the tags in it because he wore it for all of an hour and then we took it back. <laughs> <laughs> Though we should have kept it like a uh, gift to charity or something. But everybody um, signed their coats and everyone signed my coat, like the Haruhi coat, and they auctioned it off at Anime Expo like, for charity. And all the other coats um, eventually will get signed by various cast members and have since all been auctioned, I, I think. So they're out there someplace, so check out random charity auctions at anime conventions. You might come across one. Who knows? Yeah, what's up? Uh, in the show, we early on, we found out that how we cut her hair off because she got jumping. Uh -huh. Would Caitlin do the same thing? Or would she would try I ever to get it out? cut my hair off because I got coming in? I think that that might be my excuse for cutting my hair short. You know, like, I don't want to do it. But I'm like, no, no, it takes so long to grow back. No, not anymore. Now I'm definitely in a growing it out phase. Because I've cut it short, like, to my chin before. And when I was a kid, I had short, like, boy short hair. Because I had to take swimming lessons and it was too hard to take care of. So I had short, short hair. And ever since, I've kind of wanted to do it again. So I guess if I got done with it, I'd be like, oh, well, time to cut my hair out. And I'd be put gum in my hair.
But in the manga, who's read the manga? 18, 18 volumes of awesome. Uh, yeah, uh, that's definitely, spoiler alert, uh, geared more towards how to be in a particular blonde crazy post. So, <laughs> Survive a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> Moi Senpai. <laughs> Hands down. Um, maybe Honey Senpai, because he also has the skills. He's got the skills. Yeah. But, but Moi Senpai has like sword fight skills. So, um, probably Tamaki. Yeah, so like, um, they realize we may die if we don't feed them somewhere. <laughs> Bailey of girls and all, all everybody, everybody. 
Natalie is very precisely chosen. Was McFarland the obvious choice to play your dad? Um, why did I pick him? Uh, no, no, no. Yes, that is why, because he's Ritsu Soma in Fruits Basket, who's like a cross dressing character. So it's kind of like knowing that I was pandering, not pandering, uh, playing to the same type of audience. So wanting to give them like little, like, look, why, look who's here, look who's there. So putting like Laura's character um, and then Eric Vale's character, that's a little Fruits Basket yes. shout out to the people who were, were for Yuki and not for uh, Kyo. Like little stuff like that um, was all over the place. So of course Jerry had to be in the show someplace and um, yeah, I love Laura. Who are some of your favorite non-host club uh, characters? Casanova. 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 Chica Chan. The Lomele girls. What, Nekazawa? Ne yeah. <laughs> It's great. We should sell more on Instagram. 
coffee. Don't okay. so already do that. Yes, ma'am.